Hey guys and welcome to this tips and tricks video. In this one I'm going to share some tricks I gathered throughout the years of playing DayZ. There's so many small things I'm using every time I play that I think many players don't know about. But of course, if you consider yourself as a DayZ god, you probably know them all. Let me know in the comments below if you knew them all or if you actually learned something new in this video. I never made a video like this, but I guess we just jump straight into the tips and tricks. Let's go. Number one, repairing your plate carrier. I've seen so many people that's been around for years repairing their plate carriers like this. You don't have to take it off and be vulnerable. You can just put a letter sewing kit in your hands and do it the other way around. Same goes for all clothing. You never really have to take anything off or put it in your hands. Number two, repair your suppressors. A lot of people remove their suppressors from the gun to repair it. You don't actually need to. If you have your gun on your shoulder slot, you can simply drag it down on the cleaning kit you have in hands. It's not a super tip, but it's quicker. Number three, switch gun silently. The sound of switching guns can be heard from miles away, but there is no sound for picking up a gun from the floor, which means that you can drop them on the ground and pick it up to switch without giving away your position when the enemy is close. Number four, jump out of windows. There is a lot of windows in DayZ you don't think you can jump out from because of the window frames. But a lot of frames will not block you at all. This is my two favorite buildings to jump out of windows. But there is so many more. You can easily juke your enemy if you know a few windows that works. Number 5. Effects Volume By default the effects volume is put to around half. Make sure you set it to max. The sound is very important if you want to be able to hear everything from footsteps to gun swaps and so on. Number 6. Hide behind doors There is a lot of doors you can hide behind to confuse your enemy. But make sure you don't look straight at the door when hiding behind it, because, well, it's not good as you can see. You can find a lot of doors in different houses that is good to hide behind. Number 7. Changing clothing. If you change like this, there's a risk that your hoodie ends up below the ground and you lose all your items inside. But if you do it like this, it's not gonna happen and it's still a fast way to do it. Number 8. Landmine Trap When putting down a landmine, it takes 10 seconds before it's active. So you have time to stand on top and drop a random item to cover it up. And if you can't see the landmine, you probably step on the landmine. You can do the same with a bear trap, but it's it's gonna take a few tries to get an item on top. Number nine, unpin bait. If you think there's someone camping above a ladder but you're not sure, you can bait them by unpinning a flash grenade. The flash grenade does not work very well in game, but the sound when you unpin them is the same as a normal grenade. It will make them nervous and start moving, and then you know it's probably not a good idea to climb that ladder. Number 10. Trick the sniper. When you know there's a sniper looking at you, just waiting for the perfect time to shoot, I have a little trick for that. 
What you do is stop and raise your gun as you're about to shoot him, but then you quickly move again so the sniper takes a shot and hopefully misses. Then you will get a second to actually aim and shoot for real when he puts another round in the chamber. Number 11. Push the camel building. It's pretty common that players are camping in the camel building. Usually they will be on the second floor above the stairs. I have a strategy that works most of the time if you want to push up the stairs. You run up half the stairs and then you quickly turn back making them shoot. And then you know if there's someone there and you can take them out. It works really good, especially if they have a shotgun. Number 12, make them curious. If you've seen a guy in a window somewhere but you don't really get a clear shot, you can shoot in another direction to make them curious and look your way. Do not shoot in his direction so he gets the snap sound and thinks he's getting shot. That's all the tips and tricks I came up with for this video. Did you know them all? Let me know in the comments below if you did or if you actually learned something new. Thank you for watching.